Today, I'm taking you around my favorite place on earth, Hong Kong. I grew up here and I'm back for the holidays. I love the city's energy. There's something going on everywhere I go. And when I want to take it easy, I can retreat into the mountains for a picturesque hike or simply laze around by the ocean. It really is the best of both worlds. I'm really craving some Hong Kong style wonton noodles and traditional desserts. So first, I'm stopping by Max Noodles in Central to meet my childhood friend Fabian. Hi Fabs, do you want to tell us where we are? We're at uh, Max Noodle in Hong Kong. Mmm, it's going to be good. So look at this in the back. Cooking, nice and small. Sharing spaces. <laughs> so we ordered the shrimp wonton noodles and the pork dumplings. I'm really excited. I haven't been here before. It's going to be good. <laughs> no joke, I think these are the best wonton noodles I've ever had. On my way down the world's longest outdoor covered escalators, I decide to head towards the Star Ferry for a stroll, where, lo and behold, I find Dragon Beer candy. Can't believe I found the Dragon Beer candy. I went to a workshop when I was about five years old or six years old, and I've never found them since, and it's, I just can't believe it. I'm really so excited. Dragon Beer candy is an old fashioned candy made in China, and it's made from sugar and a lot of syrup with crushed peanuts inside. The dough is stretched and twisted multiple times to get these really thin strands that are then tangled up to form a little cocoon and dipped in corn flour so that the strands don't stick together. Then you can put crushed peanuts inside. This should be consumed fresh and should not be left out in the heat. Next stop, King's Bakery for the iconic Hong Kong style egg tart. We're here with my dad and we're here in King's Bakery, one of the oldest bakeries in Hong Kong here in Happy Valley. These are the Hong Kong style egg tarts. Fresh out of the oven. I guess people just went for them because there are only two left. All right, should we get cocktail buns? Cocktail buns, cocktail buns are here. Do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, cocktail, cocktail buns? buns. Actually, uh, my dad actually uh, brought cocktail buns to Hong Kong and uh, now they're very, very popular. So I think um, uh, the great tasting, the touch of grew up on them. Yeah. So please go ahead and serve yourself. Awesome. Get should we three. get Take three? Three? Okay. The whole, the, row, oh, yeah. the whole row. The whole row. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> the row. There we okay. go. So, what's inside them? Can you tell me what's inside them? Uh, like coconut and um, uh, eggs. Coconut and eggs. And, uh, yeah. That's my favorite filling. So we have like all the pineapple buns, the coconut buns, and all. But these are my favorite, especially since it comes from the family. Yeah. What? Do you want to try a pineapple bun? You want a pineapple bun? Do you want one? Okay. Just take one. Okay. Let's do it. That also, my dad brought this. See, pineapple buns. Anything else? Uh, Our tray's getting pretty full. I'm still a little jet lagged, so it's time for me to head back home on the south side to enjoy my little treats. Next time, we go for dim sum.